Let's look into the film. In this video, we're looking at James Washington. Now, he's 5'11", 214 pounds. He got track and tennis background. So that's why you see him jumping out of the building. He's athletic, dexterity. He got that. High point the ball. And we're going to look at most of these things as we look at his release points, his footwork. He's pretty good. He's solid in that. He's the third or fourth option for the Steelers. And I'm quite sure thinking that he would be the third or fourth option for the Cowboys. He can play inside the slot or on the outside. So he's versatile in a sense. He's more quick than fast. He got short area quickness. He uses his releases to get open. He's, he's a 4-5 guy. So if you look at this film right here, of course, he's going to use Anthony Brown, sell the inside slant, pivot his foot, jab step, get inside, and then he get out on the outside there and high point the ball. So solid, solid guy for the Cowboys as that option. And when you look at all of his skill set, you will say, man, what a good pickup for the Cowboys if you use them in that light. Now, think of this. Think of this. This would be a good pressure relief guy for cd lamb or even for noah brown and semi fihoko i'm looking at it even when you look at how he high point this ball he mans up and he get it look at his release off the los one thing that i can tell you his releases are so good and i believe that comes from his tennis background as well as his track but watch cha 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 he gets open because if he's so quick he can sell the outside and then get up field and He's not afraid to high point the ball, even if the ball is poorly thrown. But this ball was right on the money. And he just he just mossed this guy, basically. And you can see the height. He's five foot eleven, but he got strong hands. And he pulled his in as a guy out there on the field. I love that aspect of his game. And when you think of all of the skill set that the Cowboys got, you need somebody that can catch that. 50-50 ball and come down with it now passer rating when targeted yes he's 83 that's as high as he ever been and the guy that you got rid of Amari Cooper last season was 122 passer rating when targeted so that's a big gaping hole there he's not an Amari Cooper but he is a guy that can catch these little bubble screens or even a little quick route right here on the edge and you will see if it's open like this give it to him he can give you some yak yard he's not afraid to get up field and be a little aggressive and he only lost one fumble uh, the way he run he runs and tucked the ball pretty well and we will show the one fumble that he lost but neither here nor there look at his footwork he's quick and he get up field and he's aggressive I like that. And you got to have that mentality plan at that wide receiver. Watch his release again. And this is against Patrick Peterson. He sells the out and get right inside where the opening at. I love when I see footwork like this. Look, Patrick Peterson, and he got the safety over the top. Once the safety climbed down inside to peek at the tight end that's coming in the middle of the field, this guy... He's going to sell the out, and then he's going to come squeeze right in and find that soft spot. And Big Ben put it right on the number. Yeah, chop, open up his hip, and it's, it's pretty much over with from there. He need that separation there to high point the ball. Watch how he open Patrick Peterson. And keep in mind, this is the old Patrick Peterson. But, hey, you get used, you get used. You need to switch to safety if that's the case. He but he opened him up. He opened him up. Can you sell the out? He playing the boundary tech. And then he squeezes them back inside. And that's separation right there, Cowboy Nation, and everyone that's listening. All right, so watch. And then he high point the ball, and he come down with the score, and he spikes it. And I believe 23 is Xavier Woods. So he got both of those guys. And Xavier Woods climb inside to pay attention to the – look at that separation. <laughs> and look at her, baby. Look at that. That's separation right there. And he got it by running a good route. And he high point the ball. That's Xavier Woods and that's Patrick Peterson. And he come down with the ball. Good sure hands catcher when the ball is in the air and he spikes it on him. I like seeing that. All right, so a little curl and he gets some yak off of it. And then he makes sure he still extend that hand. He's just not going to go out and say, hey, I'm your friend. He gets the yak yard and he extend. You know, <laughs> even though he's going out of bounds, I like seeing that. You can throw him a little short route. Not a lot of separation of breakaway speed. 
but he's fast enough. He was the deep ball threat guy for the Pittsburgh Steelers. As a third or fourth option, I like that and sliding him inside the slot. I like the fact that you got a guy that's poised enough that understand to get vertical, sells it, although the ball is underthrown. I like seeing this because he helps the quarterback out. But think about this. Short area quickness got it. Guy just gets off of his man because he sells it. Like, I'm coming across, and then his DB have no chance of connecting or keeping up with him. I like it. And he goes untouched, basically, until this guy get him. And that is how you got to run that seam route. When you're running it, you can't give off indicators that you're going to cut or you're going to move up inside. And if that guy is playing a zone principle, you will find that opening spot. And speaking of opening spot, watch how he creases inside on this seven route. And and he gets there. All right, creases, shifts, and find a soft spot in the zone. Watch how he extends his hands. So I, I like that. That means that he's not a body catcher. And find a soft spot in the zone on that on that route there i like seeing that and the ability to come back to the ball or what have you and look at this catching the ball on the out here and we'll see a lot of those passes in this particular offense just relief foul you got so many wide receivers for the Steelers. you spread them and you find your open target and he would do the rest and i like seeing that cowboy nation watch James Washington off of this one. Now, he tried to get the more yards. This is the only fumble he gave up in his career. Got got caught being wild with the ball, and he's going to have to better protect the ball if given that opportunity for the Cowboys. And just good heads-up play by the defense for the Titans there. But I just had to show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. And speaking of that, let's show you some more of the good right here. This guy's not afraid to split the D. Pay attention to how he set this up. Now, he gives him the out. Remember, I'm talking about he's a tennis guy. He grew up playing tennis and track. And he jab steps on the outside. And he creates that separation there. Receiver turned him. His back is turned. So he's chasing to a point on the field because he already bit for that outside. And now he's chasing. And this DB is safe to have no way of catching up right there. Short area quickness is what he got. And he's able to catch this ball right from Big Band. So when we look at everything, we're looking at short area quickness, foot placement, jab step, able to get the separation. May not seem like a lot, but it is. Watch the separation. That separation, that's NFL separation. Safety have no chance of making a play on that ball. And he catches this touchdown. Now, he don't win them all. And this ball should have been thrown to the outside shoulder. But what we want to look at as the uh, wide receiver versus DB, can he get off a of press? And we can clearly see that James is able to get off press, get him off, not able to jab. And that's separation. Ball should be thrown on the outside shoulder toward the sideline. So only James or the boundary sideline can catch this ball. But unfortunately, it's thrown inside. And of course, uh, the DB is able to make and regain position to get this interception. And it's not James' fault, but you can clearly see that the separation from the LOS is there. Yeah. Throw that thing to the outside shoulder, man. Who knows what could have happened? You know, it could have been a touchdown. But um, he just couldn't make a play on that ball. Poorly thrown to the inside of the field there. So we know that James can take and get separation with short area quickness, good footwork. And on top of that, he got subtle speed. The 4-5 speed do translate. We can see that as well when we look at film. Maybe when he come over here to Dallas land, maybe we will see more of a production base out of him as that third or fourth option. But here's another option. The guy, like I said, can crease the middle of the field. Just all about the footwork, foot placement, the release there. He slides inside as the slot finds the opening there. And it just creases it up field. And what a way to hit him in a little bit in stride there. And that's what I like out of James is his ability to take the yak yard, get open, dexterity of it. And he scores a touchdown as a 50-yard play. And how did this all happen? Because he got good footwork. And on top of that, he come back to the ball. Look, don't allow the ball to hit his body or frame. Come back to the ball. Got over pursuit. 
balances well. He got great balance, good body control, and he get upfield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He kind of runs like uh, Michael Gallup a little bit. The 13 kind of remind you of Michael Gallup. Once Michael Gallup get healed and ready, and he would been he had been doing some of the heavy loads there. Um, I'm quite sure that he's better than Noah Brown at this point, as well as Semi Fihoko. So I believe the Cowboys will still draft a wide receiver. Now, for an insurance plan, you got James Washington. And a good change of scenery can go a long way, right? And I'm not putting him into a box. Who knows? You know, in this particular system under Kellen Moore, he may be more uh, usable within the confines of this offense. But I, I look at uh, James Washington as a good third or fourth option. And but for right now, he will be one of the veteran receivers on this particular team. And it, this would give a good relief valve for C.D. Lamb. All right. So post me your thoughts, post me your concerns of James Washington. Like I said, he got short area quickness. He can take the top off the defense a little but he's not necessarily a blazer. I, I just look at him as a guy that can be a third or fourth option. But as far as the Cowboys, he may be the second option, depending on when Michael Gallup come back. But at least you would not have to rush Michael Gallup. And let's see how this thing can all work out and formulate into the best way possible. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.